Hari Om, dear friends. Today, in Vishwa Guru Deep Ashram Research Center, we have a very special guest from Croatia. Uh, today, we will uh, discuss about uh, the archaeological findings through the history and the changes of the archaeological findings in the recent years, especially considering the India and uh, Indian development of as an old ancient civilization. With me is the Rampuri, disciple of Vishwaguru Mahaman Resha Paramaswami Ashrananji, Andros Tosic, the student of architecture, researcher of architecture, and uh, a very known person in Rijeka, in Croatia, in archaeological circles. And he, I was asking him if he can talk about uh, this topic and give us some short introductions to see what was before in the uh, world of uh, archaeology about India and Indian civilization and what, is, what are the recent findings. With, uh, without further ado, I will introduce you to Andros Tosic. Uh, dragi, hvala dragi Svami Genešovići na ovoj prilici za, za govoriti na ovu temu koja je uh, izuzetno uh, značajna u svijetu uh, arheologije i općenito cijele svjetske, uh, svjetske povijesti i civilizacije, povijesti civilizacija. Uh, naime, uh, Arheologija, znači gradovi, veliki gradovi stare civilizacije Indije su otkriveni pred samo stotinu godina unazad, što je čini jednom od najmlađih u izučavanju velikih starih svjetskih civilizacija. Pred stotinu godina je otkriven Mohenjo-Dar, otkrivena Harapa, zatim Mohenjo-Daro, i uh, rađena su velika istraživanja u dolini Inda. So, our professor is telling that uh, the Indian civilization, because it was under colonial rule for a long time, the archaeological research was not as uh, much done as in other countries, so India had the discovery of Harappa civilization, uh, Harappa sites and Mohenjo-Daro only 100 years back, which means almost no time in the archaeological history. And, uh, but still, these were very significant findings. And uh, whatever happens with that, the, what uh, we find, that this changes the course of history. Pred, znači, koto stotinu godina, kad se uspoređuje istraživanje od 300 godina Egipta, stare civilizacije Egipta, onda se arheolozi znaju koliko je vremena potrebno da se više zna i istraživanje potrebno da bi imali celovitu sliku. So, for comparison, the Egypt and the civilization of Egypt was uh, already studied for 300 years while the civilization of India only for 100. Danas posljednjih 25 godina su se istraživanja intenzivirala i sada možemo puno više znamo o staroj indijskoj civilizaciji koji danas mnogi arheolozi danas nazivaju Sarasvati Ind civilizacijom. So in the last 25 years there was a breakthrough in the research and many people are now calling the many archaeologists archaeologists are calling the not the Indian civilization but the Sarasvati Indo civilization. 
Pogotovo uz suho korito rijeke Sarasvati i pritoke, kanale je negdje oko 2,5 tisuće novih lokaliteta otkriveno, sondirano je, tako da tek će tu početi prava istraživanja. So, it's so far, there is there, the archaeologist found more than two and a half thousand villages, cities or places where people were living in the dry area of the Saraswati river and the dry uh, the rivers which come to the Saraswati. So two and a half thousand excavation sites is really a long, it's really a lot and it will take a lots of time to discover what was actually happening there. Treba isto tako reći da najstarije pismo koje mi poznajemo u Indiji još uvijek nije dešifrirano i na tome rade mnogi timovi, tako da u neko dogledno vrijeme ćemo imati i mnogo više informacija s te strane, dokle iz tog vremena starih civilizacija poznajemo Indiju iz sumerskih tekstova u kojima oni spominju Indiju pod nazivom Meluha, Dilmun i Magan, zemlje Magana. So, uh, there is one very famous uh, digging site in Gujarat, Dholavira, and uh, there was the signs which were found there are still not uh, deciphered, so it's the sign which uh, predates Brahmi and Proto-Brahmi and uh, but during uh, due to the tablets found in uh, Sumer we can and Sumer and Mesopotamia then we have the quite good uh, idea what was happening in that time in uh, Saraswati in the civilization yes uh, ono što je jako važno da sva arheološka istraživanja danas govore o kontinuitetu naseljavanja Indije koji nije prekinut. So it is very important that all the archaeological findings till date are showing that there was continuing civilization of India from the beginning time till now there was no any kind of changes in the civilization znači nije bilo nikakve invazije ili penetracije druge kulture u Indiju i to jasno dokazuje arheološki materijal so this uh, archaeological findings surely prove there was no any Aryan invasion in India and there was no any invasion of other civilization which will complete change the whole picture of India but the culture of India was as it is for the thousands and thousands of years. O tome uh, svjedoči arheološki materijal, ali isto tako na širokom području od Indonezije do, uh, sjever, do Južne Rusije preko Afganistana, Irana, Perzijskog zaljeva, možemo ga pratiti i u uh, oazama, uh, uh, znači uh, u Omanu i Saudskoj Arabiji. So not that this culture was is visible only in India, but it's uh, this culture comes it's all over from Indonesia to the southern Russia and then to the east on uh, Uh, sorry, to the west, to the Persian Gulf, and to the nowadays Turkey. I upravo uh, zahvaljujući pločicama, uh, znači glinim pločicama sa zapisima iz uh, Sumera, uh, one nam otkrivaju svijet uh, tog vremena, govore nam o uh, Indiji, staroj Indiji, govore nam o uzu, trgovini, uh, govore nam o odnosima koji su stari Sumerani imali sa Indicima. So from these clay tablets found in Sumer and Mesopotamia we uh, it's described uh, how the Indians were trading and what was the culture of India and what was happening at that time. Mi znamo da su Sumerani poštovali Indice, poštovali su uh, uh, to znamo iz tekstova kao enki i svjetski poredak. Uh, znamo da su imali veliko poštovanje prema zemlji Meluha koji se smatra da je označena Indija, 
zemni magana, to je današnjeg Makarana i Omana, te Dilmuna, Bahrejna, današnjeg Bahrejna, gdje je bio veliki trgovački emporij zasnovan od Ididijaca, a 85% arheološkog materijala pripada staroj indijskoj civilizaciji. So, all these places which he now mentioned, mentions, so Meluha was actually the name which they called India, and there are many other places which now professor mentioned about so India was very prominent and uh, was very respected at that time. Mi kroz čitavi drugo, znači pratimo kroz cijeli treći mileniji, drugi mileniji te odnose. Oni su jedno vrijeme prekinuti i to se tim vremenom se zapravo smatra vrijeme kad je civilizacija Sarasvati zbog povlačenja reke Sarasati, vjerojatno izazvanog mijenjanja njenog toka i sušivanja reke Sarasati, što je se dogodilo vjerojatno sa potresom, onda možemo tu refleksiju i pratiti i u tadašnjem Sumeru. So, in the Sumer, in the Sumer, we can find the proof and that the Tablets which were describing India were less and less, especially according uh, at the time when the Saraswat River withdrew or dried due to the tectonic movements of some other reasons, and there was the less uh, traffic for the for the trading and so on towards the west from India. Tada preuzimaju trgovinu ne direktno indici, znači već posrednici i to se vidi u arheološkom materijalu koji je zastupljen u Iranu i u Perijskom zaljevu. So in the Persian Gulf and Iran we can see the material which shows that the trading is now favored by the middlemen. So not India directly is exporting things, but it goes to the middlemen and then it goes to the Iran and Persian Gulf. Danas ono što je zapravo znamo, znači vjerojatno je to doba bilo velike kataklizme i jedno možda i najveće koje možemo pratiti u povijesti. Radi se i o dobu velikih, što je bilo posljedicom kasnije, velikih migracija ljudi koji se sele prema zapadu u Alovima i prema istoku. So that time was of this big drought or big accident. There was the waves of movement of people towards the west and the east from the Saraswat valley. Oni koji su se kretali prema zapadu, nazivamo ih Arijancim, prema današnjem Iranu, a oni koji se sjedi, dio ljudi se kreće prema dolini rijeke Gange i danas se u arheološkom, u arheologiji se to naziva sekundarna urbanizacija Indije. So the ones who went to the Iran side, to the west, they are called Arians because of the Iran or the name of the Iran. And on the west the Ganges towards the river Ganges. The Ganga, the, they are uh, now considered, so this part of the Ganga, who part into the part of the people who went to Ganga, did the secondary urbanization, as it's called in archaeological terms. U današnjoj znanosti je posebno zanimljivo sociolozima, uh, antropolozima i arheolozima kako je uspjelo uh, tako jednoj velikoj civilizaciji da presadi matricu, uh, urbanu matricu, iz svog ishodišta uz rijeku Sarasati, današnju rijeku Ind, znači današnjeg dijela Sjevernog rađastana i Pakistana, kako je uspjelo prebaciti istu takvu u sredinu rijeke Gange. Tako da je to jedan zbilja fenomen i koji posebno izučavaju grupe znanstvenika danas. So, today is very interesting to know that the scientists from the archaeological department, from sociology and from anthropology are researching that uh, how it's possible to move the civilization from the Saraswat Valley, so the, from the valley of the Saraswat River, as it is to the river of Ganga. 
So there was the same type of the roads, the same type of the houses. So basically, they moved the whole civilization. There was no degradation, there was not fall. Of course, there was some problems, but the same type uh, of knowledge was kept while moving towards the Ganga River and so on. No, isto vremeno te pa reći da valovi ljudi koji se sele prema zapadu, oni se isto mogu pratiti u više valova i uh, jedan ide prema Ukrajini, uh, prema Europi, uh, drugi val ide prema uh, Bliskom istoku, pa uh, u nekoliko valova možemo čak i na Bliskom istoku u, u vreme, vremenu od uh, prije 3400 godina možemo naći tekstove u kojima se spominju indijska božanstva, uh, kao što su Mitra Varuna i isto tako uh, tekstovi uh, na staro indijskom uh, jeziku. So this uh, so now this movement which was going to the west so there is one line which went to the middle east then one line we which up to ukraine and then from ukraine we also know that it went to latvia and lithuania what is now so the south russia and even now north russia and we know that they were u- using the same gods, the Mitra, Varuna, the god of uh, the sun and the god of water. So this shows that the movement of the people also happened in that direction. To je izuzetna uh, tema, uh, tema uh, koja pokazuje da je prostor uh, koji mi, uh, znači indijski predprostor ili prostor indijski seže skroz do Turske uh, i da je taj prostor čitavo vrijeme bio fluktuitivan i da je povezivo uh, Indiju sa Europom i da je uh, čitavo vrijeme uh, kultura tekla i prema istoku i istovremeno prema zapadu. So this shows that uh the culture was flowing the same way to the east and to the west from the Indian side and it shows that uh, this culture was much bigger so with the surety today we can say that uh, from the Turkey to Indonesia the, there was the grasp of Indian civilization probably we will find more there are some findings also in Africa and many many findings also in Mexico and uh, other places but this is topic for some another day we are now talking on exactly what is now happening in India and this research which is done in India and in the this two and a half thousand sites excavation sites near the Saraswati river there are many more sites of course today uh, archaeology is faced with the uh, problems of excavation because people need more space, we need more farmland, we need more mines and so on. So there are many times when archaeology uh, is not, of course, no, nobody thinks archaeology is profitable, but we need to know from where we came. I would like to thank our, I would like to thank the professor for coming to Jaipur and share his knowledge with us. I hope that in the future he might record us few lectures which we can then uh, publish and we can uh, broaden our knowledge with this i would like to thank you and thank wish you all the best in the future efforts thank you